Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here, and welcome to 2015. Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you a program called File Hippo App Manager. Okay, now this is a free program. I'll just give a demonstration of what it does. So I've already installed this and downloaded it from the File Hippo website as recommended by Lifehacker, which I will show in a minute. But at the moment, what it is doing is scanning my computer computer for commonly used programs and as you can see it's detected that six programs need updating right so obviously with Java it's looking for the 64-bit version because it is a 64-bit operating system although I would have to go manually download the 32-bit version because you're meant to have both running in tandem now it's showing that there is a beta version for Google Chrome. However, I'm tending to stay away from the beta versions because they can be a little bit buggy. Um, WinRAR, I'm not too bothered about downloading the beta. So let's go and do this. It takes you to a file hippo download link, which is why it's all linked in together nicely. Now, do bear in mind that if you have any unique software programs, for instance, I'm using Camtasia. It won't recognize it because it looks for commonly commonly used programs sorry so I'll just go through the installation and update for WinRAR go through of course it's telling me it's a trial version however we know differently done and then we'll just check the desktop and of course it's taken my icon away again so what I'll do just open this folder and I will move it to the desktop close the folder open up WinRAR Oop. Well, keeps that unlimited registration there for us which is good so let's do a retry the scan I'll open it in a separate tab this time as you can see it's disappeared which is all fine and dandy. Now, as I was saying, this is recommended by Lifehacker. Um, one of the forum users on there have put basically a bunch of software checking programs for various operating systems. And the file hipper one comes out in top in the poll here. And that's out of 6,331 6, users. And it's got 31.51% of the vote there. And although I agree it does work very well, it's a shame it doesn't have an integrated download feature like some other checking software does. But of course you've got to pay a premium price for that. So what else can we do? Let's do the IE. Now I have a feeling this may go wrong. yep it does so what I need to do for that one is I need to go back to there show the results now because obviously Google Chrome has integrated IE what I need to do is go separately to Internet Explorer and just copy and paste the link into there Like so. And no, I do not want to make IE my default browser. So I'll just download the latest version of Flash Player. Of course, it's a Flash Player plugin. It's just going to download it now. Come on. I've already got it. Don't need to download it again. Now, let's see if this goes on this time because I have had a couple of issues um, from downloading the updated Flash Player and it not installing properly. So let's see what this one does. 
as you can see the program overall is minimally invasive it takes you onto a web link obviously you're going to have to have an internet connection anyway in order to load up these pages or even if you were to have a piece of software where it checked and downloaded the apps all in the same window you'd still need an active network connection there now first of all i must apologize it is indeed 2015 and it is my first video of the year apologies for not getting this to you earlier i've been slightly busy oh installation has actually been successful this time oh well maybe adobe have had a new year's resolution to make this seamlessly work better good so again as you can see it's listed on there just close that go back to the results and if i click on retry scan through the computer again bring the links back up and as you can see it's only four programs to update this time so all of these links will be in the video description where it says please read do go through and click more information if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really does mean a lot thank you very much to all my new subscribers for sticking by me and all my current subscribers for sticking by me as well really does mean a lot so until next time guys i'll see you later bye bye for now